the Tesla coil-based magic marker was a great start to building small pocket-sized high-voltage devices, but even with the cap off, the output power is not very good. So the plasma pen was developed, and it did much better. However, with a bit of work, Plasma Pen 2 was developed with enough power to light up everything. These long and thin cold cathode fluorescent tubes from big screen TVs can be barely lit up at the side by Plasma Pen number 1. But what about Plasma Pen version 2? easily. Plasma pen number one can light up LEDs. Plasma pen two can also light up LEDs. Not only can it light up LEDs, it can also set them on fire. Version two will set almost anything with a metalized surface on fire. It'll also burn into a CD. And if you have beef, it'll take care of that too. Another thing version 2 can do is draw out fairly long carbon arcs on wood. Version number one had a lot of voltage, but not enough amperage to light things on fire like a candle. Version number two can't light things like a candle on fire. However, the voltage is not quite as high as number one, so it cannot easily put out fires. However, number one has more voltage and can produce more ionic wind and put out fires much easier. Plasma pen version 1 has a higher voltage than version 2. You can see the tip ionization. You can also see where it establishes a spark at a further distance than version 2. You can see that there's no tip ionization on version 2 and the starting arc is much shorter. However, the amperage allows a draw arc of about 12 to 14 millimeters. Another thing Plasma Pen version 2 can do is cause coronal glow around objects.
These have easily become some of the best things I've ever built. Stay tuned, check out some other video footage from the builds.